there, welcome back to Lime Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I have a product review. I have seen it a lot online and I'm excited to give it a try myself. It is Javi Coffee. Now I'd like to thank them for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it and I'm excited to try your product. So this will be my first time trying this. And for those of you guys who know me, you know that I love super sweet drinks and, you know, probably more sugar and cream to my coffee than actually just the coffee itself. All right, so before I get to the coffee, we've got some cute little straws here. I've seen them online, but not in person. They come in a cute little pool bag. Oh, nice. They're gold. Got a brush. So we got the little like silicone tips and we got one bent straw and one straight straw and a little brush cleaner. So thank you, Javi. I've actually like haven't yet purchased straws like this and I've been meaning to, so I'm excited about this. But moving on to the star of the show, we have this Javi Microdose Coffee Concentrate. So the cool thing about this is you really only use like one or two teaspoons at a time. And I believe there are like, yeah, 30 servings in this bottle. So this little tiny thing, it can last you the whole month if you use, you know, one serving a day. So it says to take one to two teaspoons of this and mix it with either water or your choice of milk. And it can be hot or cold. Really, you just make your drink however you want and you just use a little tiny bit of this and it goes a long way. So let me go get some milk and we'll give this a try. All right, so I got my cup of ice in the little mug that I etched for my parents' 40th anniversary. We're gonna go ahead and fill it up with some milk. And I like a caramel macchiato, so we're gonna add some caramel to this guy. I probably should have added it in first, but you know, whatever. As well as a pump or two of vanilla. And then the highlight. I'm so excited. So smell wise, it smells just like coffee. I would hope, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it smells very strong, smells like a coffee shop. And it's like super, super dark. All right, here we go. Went ahead and rinsed my little straw. So let's give this a go. You know what, this tastes like how I would make like my own little like espresso caramel macchiato concoction. Obviously it's not the same as like a Starbucks drink because I'm using ingredients that Starbucks doesn't use, um, like the, the brands, right? Obviously they use caramel and vanilla, but not this caramel and not this vanilla. But this tastes pretty similar to what I would make before, like on my own. So I'm really impressed actually by this. And for the sake of this video, I will be trying, um, I'll put this in the fridge because this is gonna be way too much caffeine for me today. I will be trying uh, just the coffee microdose with some milk and just kind of see what that flavor is like. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm just gonna use a teaspoon here because I don't need that much to get a good taste. So here we go. Smells like coffee. I think I may have poured too much milk in, or this is just what I'm not used to. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour just a teeny tiny bit more of this. This is tasting like how I would imagine just coffee and milk tasting. Um, like I said, I usually add a whole bunch more, so I can't really give like a black coffee with milk review on how this compares. But like I said, the drink that I normally make, this guy, Tastes pretty similar to what I would expect if I was making like a cup of coffee, throwing in vanilla and caramel and milk and making my own type of macchiato at home. It's pretty similar. So again, I'd like to thank Javi for sponsoring today's video. They did provide a little discount code for you guys, which I will put on the screen here, as well as all of the information that you need down below in the description box if you guys want to order some for yourself. I will be trying some more recipes as the days go by and posting some shorts for you guys to see. So if you want some inspiration on other flavors or things like that, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss those little recipe videos and all of my other motherhood content. Don't forget to like this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end.
end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.